What it do, what it do, what it do. Welcome back to another damn dead YouTube. Yep, yep, that's me right there, cruising down on the streets on my lawn. Nah, that is me though. <laughs> no, but seriously, this was a, a journey to me and a group of fellas, a good, good group of fellas. We actually went out on a road trip. We did the uh, Lake Superior, we went around the whole entire Lake Superior, one big circle. Uh, man, this was the first big trip that I went on you know period you know i never been on a trip so big so i was fortunate enough i got a chance to ride with these guys and see what it's like and we went across the water uh man we went into canada beautiful lands and this here is Mackinac island uh or Mackinac city might i might i say and uh man i got some beautiful shots doing this and you know a lot of time every time we i was stopping trying to get uh uh, drone shots i wanted to get as much footage as possible we had a short run we did this less than seven days so literally we was like a hop skip and run at least daily we were going through uh i think anywhere from 350 miles to 480 one day and man that was a trip in itself but man i'm not gonna i'm gonna have to say this was very enjoyable this is me just cruising with everybody you see behind me uh I might been leading the pack at this time. And so I just got a few little video I want to show, you know. Oh man, this here is so beautiful. This here is in Canada side. I don't know why Canada was so amazing. The view and the only thing is my camera <clears throat> that was on the bike didn't capture as well a video that I would like, but you know, it's enough where you can at least get an idea of what's happening here. So, and it's just cruising down on Canada side. For whatever the pace being, Canada always seemed like it was a little bit more beautiful than uh, on the United States side. And I don't know why, maybe because there's more trees. This here, I got the guys to actually pull over and let me actually take a little piece of drone. This is on part of the trip. I think we might've been leaving, uh, heading to Thunder Bay here. And uh, I basically was like, guys, pull over for a second. Let me pull out my drone and let me get a quick video uh, of what I can. Man, it's one of our first stops we made when we came into Canada uh, once we crossed over. Uh, and actually, the guy right there in the orange, he is Tom. He actually didn't get a chance to uh, continue to ride with us because we were there at that shop for about three, three to four hours. He had an incident, but his bike wasn't working. He ended up, he has a whole story that took place. But he ended up catching up, with, catching up with us by the end of the trip. Um, this here was, I forgot the name of this actual place. I should look it up, but ah, nah, I won't do that. <laughs> if you ask about it, I'll tell you. But this is one of the stops we made. I actually tried to chase with the drone that uh, boat you see out there. And it, it caught up with it. Just the video doesn't look as clean. So that's the reason why I didn't add it in here. But it was actually a good time. Oh, man, you should have seen. There were so many waterfalls. These waterfalls were everywhere. I mean, I have so much video of waterfalls. I couldn't even give it all to you. But, man, it was the zone, can, the Canadian side. And I mean, beautiful. As you can see, like, this all it was. It was a big old stream. I followed all the way up to that back. If you can kind of tell in the background up there. I followed that stream all the way back for a long way. Just the video wasn't as clear uh, for me to make it presentable. But uh, this here, I think this was in Terrence Bay. We was in Terrence Bay. You know, like I said, one of the first things we do when I dock, I'm pulling my drone out. You're going to see me do it. I'm such a fan of just drolling. But this here, uh, man, it was like no interference. It's like nothing out on this side. So I tried to take the drone as far as possible out. You know, I wanted to be able to uh, capture as much as possible. I think this is probably the longest I've taken it. The distant wise, I believe this is. I'm going I'm gonna have to double check. I, I think this is the longest I took it over the water. Uh, this actually was pretty cool. I, I'm not gonna lie. Like, man, we didn't get a lot of sleep, but man, we seen so much beauty. It was like, it ran through us so fast. It was like, you know, man, we every day was somewhere new. 
another stop and this is terrence bay uh and this is like like i said we'll get there probably seven o'clock at night right when the sun's going down and then in the morning is when i get a chance to get my little video action when i could uh, I know the group of guys probably got tired of me like this dog on Leon just keep bringing his his drone out every chance he get and uh, holding this up but I'm glad they they actually took the time to uh, allow me to partake in that because you know that that's what made the event special for me as you see here with some of the rain that's going on yeah we got caught in the rain there was some days we had to you know pull out and get our rain suit out and that's basically what we're doing here pulling out our rain suit but it wasn't as bad as you think it is it looks worse than it actually was you know the bike kind of held into the rain so it was fine you know we just pulled over here just so we can get our rain rain gear like i said waterfalls were everywhere there were so many that i couldn't even add them in the video and this we did this in 2017 uh, man, look at that. That is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Like, uh, and this was some of the first time me trying to explore with my drone. Uh, man, if we can, we can fast forward it three years later, man, I would have did a lot more. But I purposely bought this smaller drone just so I can do it for this trip. I was used to having a, a bigger drone that I would normally ride with or have with me. But in this particular case, I didn't because uh, I wanted enough room that I can pack my clothes and stuff in. So I needed something smaller. So I didn't know all the capabilities that I can do with this drone at the time. You know, I was familiar with the, the bigger drone, but this really was me really kind of testing the boundaries. Like, you know, if I could redo this over, oh man, I would do so many different shots. But then again, a lot of times I was rushing because I didn't want the crew that I was with kind of being uh, held up, you know, just because I'm trying to get these amazing shots. Uh, man, one thing I definitely would want to work on is getting more stable stability shots uh, with the motorcycle. I feel like I got so much motorcycle video, but it's so wobbly and I tried to do a little bit of editing to make sure these videos work but man and i forced some videos in there now this here is another stop i can't remember the actual location but it was a hotel and i remember it was very cloudy and i said you know what i'm gonna fly through those clouds fly like a bird through these clouds <laughs> so uh got some of these amazing shots going through the clouds but i, I sometimes look at this and think to myself wow you know that that's that's uh, you know i'm at a loss for words but other than i can say is just wow that's that's how beautiful that shot is and then uh daryl actually this is one of the places that he had been to before and uh we actually went here and man this was beautiful you can see that little pocket of water then the outside water we had to go up a, a hill just to get up to this location and uh man i seen it that was something i was like yo i gotta get that video and uh this is some of the stops we were doing you know some of the guys probably would be laughing when they see this because uh, all they probably could think of me having a pocket full of Skittles. <laughs> and every time we made a stop from riding so long, I always would stand up. That It had to be a muscle. My butt was killing me after this ride. So every chance we made a stop, I was excited to stand up. Like, finally, let my butt breathe. This here was a little cliff. Um, I did a little video. Uh, one of the, I think Tom asked me to do a drop off and it didn't turn out as good, but you know, I still want to get a, a small visual so people can kind of see what was going on here. Uh, man, like I said, it was this trip. It was so much packed of events and things that we did that it, it, it almost seems like a blur. Now this road is funny. I, I won't name no names. But uh, I basically took a back row because my uh, my uh, I have a map thing on my uh, uh, motorcycle and it told us this is a shortcut to try to get to our next destination. And somebody bike got all messed up. <laughs> you know what I mean? We all all our bikes got messed up with mud. But uh, yeah, that was that was a shortcut. That was like, well, that will be my last time picking that. We're gonna follow the original plans. But no, nah, it was all good. It was a good time. This here, that was a statue for, uh, man, it was a Canadian statue. Don't give me the line. It was something really important, but I'm not going to say a lot to you. But it's supposed to been a big thing for the country. Uh, this here, this actual location you're seeing me, I went off, I deviated from the team. And I rode by myself because we got caught in some rain. So we delayed our trip and took a little break. And it was the first break after like five days of riding. 
so I wanted to just kind of zone off by myself and I went to this town let me tell you this when I went in this town I felt like people were kind of staring at me like as I was riding through it felt it felt a little uncomfortable I ain't gonna lie it felt a little uncomfortable a guy pulled up next to me in the truck and was like I got one of those I'm like oh good good for you I'm glad you got a motorcycle I got video of that I should post that uh, cause I had my cameras rolling, even when he was like yelling at me and it was, it wasn't a mean yell, but it was there. Um, but great experience. This here was when the lighthouse off the water of that same time when I deviated from the team and, uh, I just went out just to kind of, uh, just to kind of do some R and on my own, just trying to, you know, take, take sceneries and do all that. But really this is the end I wanted to, I've been, should have had this video done, but I figured out what time better than now. So now I'm posting it. There you go. You got it. Sign up for me. Damn dad at YouTube. And these are just extra videos of, uh, <laughs> some of the different events and pictures. I want to try to capture just a few different things that, that took place during the time. So, Hey, anyways, thank you for taking the time to check this video out. Otherwise I am signing off. Peace. I'll let you later.